Okay, Audi here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Amnesia Dark Descent. And we got the key to this place. Oh, right. That's We have to actually use the key. Okay, hang on. Here, take that. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. We've read that before. They might start repeating now. We've seen a lot of them. A little loading screen messages. Alright, let's go this way first. How's my sanity? Head is pounding and hands are shaking. We are not in good shape. We better solve some something fast here. What's going on over here? I can't turn that. What was that? I don't know. 5th of July. 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Ah. It's good to hear Daniel's voice. Again, I haven't played since yesterday. So what do we have going on here? Oh. Maybe I should light this. Yeah, there we go. Things are starting to get... I think it was too dark in that little corner there. I can't look... Okay, there we go. Alright, what do we have here? Aqueous Pressus. Maybe I shouldn't be messing with this just yet. Let's put this down. We'll come back to that when I know what it is, because right now I don't. In fact, let's take a look at the journal. No memories available, so even our journal doesn't know what to do. Nobody has any idea. I do believe we need to put these fuel rods somewhere, so let's try that. And then I'll, I'll go back to those switches, and maybe by that point we'll know what to do. Alright, we got a cog. Can I open this? Yeah, there we go. Is there something that I can light here? Yeah. All right, now we can put that torch away. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia, oh, Alexander. he said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. Well, that's ominous. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write... My thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. 
Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Oh. The madness. It begins. Alright, so here we've got the fuel rods. Machine equipment memo. Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three were to crack again. Alright. Uh, the four phase amplitude rod, trinity steam rod, and the flow cycle rod. So, if we look in our journal at the notes. Hmm. No. I thought there was a way. Ooh. Regarding explosive mixtures. Aha! Machine instructions. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Uh, the elevator breaks down again. Make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. So we have to use the steam engine to build up pressure first. And then adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up 8 and down 8. What? And then the flow we have to set according to this chart. Does that mean this is in order? Trinity steam set functions? This is going to be difficult. Okay, let's go back to those levers real quick. Actually, what's down here? Oh, I'm out of oil. All right, hang on. Seventeenth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, head split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following oh. me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice. But to trust the Baron, he better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Wow. Everybody did die. Alright, what have we got here? Hmm. I guess maybe we're supposed to put some wood or something in there. I think we do have to build up pressure with this first. I don't see anything going on over here. Oh, there are missing cogwheels to be fitted. Well, damn, this is going to be complicated. Well, do we have to get these? It would be nice if there was another torch over here. All right, there we got one. I did see another cogwheel elsewhere, so let's go get that. This is straightforward, so we'll take care of this first. Oh, jeez. The rest of this puzzle I do not have figured out yet. There we go. Eh, just felt like going under that bar. Oh, that just leads out, right? Yeah. Okay, was there a wheel over here? I think there was one in here. That taste, that fragrance, Damascus Rose. Our sanity has gone back up somehow. Oh, but let's take a look at this. It's supposed to be eight up and then eight down. So where's number eight here? This is, could either go to one to three, three and five, six. None of these say eight, so I don't understand that yet at all. Oh, wait a second. 
Hang on, hang on. What if they're supposed to like add up to these numbers? So what if the top is supposed to be eight total and the bottom is supposed to be eight total? Oh, this is kind of difficult, isn't it? So this is four, if we did four and three and one, for instance, like if we did this, that's eight on top. And then if we go down here, four, this will be six. What? The flow is even and stable. We can do that then. I feel like we should be switching something here because it's not eight on top and eight on bottom. So if we move this down, or if we move, yeah, if we move this one down. Oh, I can't. Maybe this is fine. Alright, let's just leave it like that. It did say the flow was even and stable. Maybe we're fine. And there's no cog in here, right? So where's the other cog? Was it in here? It might be... Oh, here we go. And, yep, that's the only one in here. Ooh, I almost let it go. Man, I'm having to use my lantern way too much for this kind of stuff here. What's over here? You built up pressure, that's for sure. Are we supposed to put, like, some wood or something into this? in here. Oh, we have coal. We're probably supposed to put coal in there. Is there anything that I can light? Oh, we got some oil. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that helps a lot because we need to use oil a lot in this area. Um, there's a shovel that we can use. So let's try this. Is that not how we're supposed to do it? Oh, here's another shovel. It seems like this is how we're supposed to do it. But I'm not able to pick any of it up. Maybe we should just pick up one of these balls. Oh yeah, duh. All right. Let's grab another one. I don't know how many we'll need, but... Let's put a few in there, actually. You go over there. Burner's now full of coal, so we only needed three. Now, before I turn that on, I think... Or maybe we should start this going, huh? It needs more work before it will run. What specifically? Oh, because... Okay, so let's go do the fuel rods now. Alright. Hey, Kramer. Here we go. Oh, that was eerie. So if we look at our notes here. Trinity, Steam, and then Four Phase. I hope it's just like in order here. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Tr obviously. All right, hang on. I see the shapes. Uh, this is what... <laughs> four phase, four sides. And then Trinity, three sides. 
and then flow cycle circle. All rods are in place. That's got to be it. How's my sanity now? Yeah, it's, it's a lot better. So hopefully we can just run the machine now. We've done what we were supposed to do. We built up the steam. We set the rods to have the correct amount of pressure. We've got coal. Let's go ahead and do this. Turn on the burner. And now, turn on the machine. Yes. So now the lift should be working. All right. Very positive music. I feel great. Whoa. Damn. Let's get the hell out of here. Don't touch these. Oh, these pimples from hell. Oh, ouch. I wasn't able to. I went the wrong way, too. Ah, oh, damn it. Whew. Okay, we made it. He flipped through the Book of Monarchs looking for etchings and counted. Nine different kings from all over Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. So we do get seem to get some new ones that don't pop up until we progress to a certain point in the game. Whoa. We better hurry up and get to the lift. How's my health? A wound is bleeding quite badly. Let's use that. Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Is it literally this thing we refer to as the shadow that killed those guys? Hang on. Oh, I can't move it. It's just gonna go until it stops. The servants avoided him, yet he knew they were there. They all smelled the spice wine and the sixth scent permeated a clove and sage. I feel like at one point we're gonna just have to go through this super dark area. Come this way. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Ah. Wait, oh, I can light these candles. Yeah, that's interesting to think about. Like, if you didn't have uh, prisons and stuff. Maybe they would just send the criminals to different barons who had dungeons in their castle. Oh, it's heavy. Come on. Alright, let's drag this. Shoot. All right, that might be enough if we get rid of this one, too. Yeah, I figured as much. It's gonna be really dark. Anything back here? What the hell? There's a lot of crazy noises going on here. I'm gonna light some torches when we get to an important room. Right now, I don't know what's, what is important. Getting 
closer. Somehow. Okay. Here's a room. Is there anything we can light here? No. There's like nothing here. So this is like a dead end. Maybe I should just light all of these torches. Like run from torch to torch and then light them. How many uh, tinder boxes do we have? 18, so not a huge amount. But it's nice to have a safe hallway that we can run to without our torch being lit because enemies will be able to see us much better with our, our lantern out. A hammer. I'll take that. Anything in here? Yeah, some oil. Fantastic. What the hell? Okay, so this door is stuck. Let's just get out of here. Daniel's not looking too good. Oh no! Shit! Oh no! Fuck me! Use the hammer! Use the hammer! Oh, I'm so dead. Run! How am I gonna escape this guy? bad. I kind of feel like maybe I should just let myself die because I'm so injured. My wound is bleeding quite badly. My sanity is just screwed to all hell. Oh man, I can barely walk. There he is. Shh. He's coming. We gotta get around him somehow. I'll just wait here. Eventually, he's, he's gonna turn around, I expect. Is that him? The sound of I just heard? I mean, the longer I wait around, I think the worse my sanity is gonna get, too. Oh, shit. The, uh, the hissing cockroaches are an issue at times like these. I'm gonna take my torch down for now, and then just run up these stairs. Light the thing. I can't. <gasps> there he is. Okay. Grab the oil. Grab it. He's going to be rounding the corner any second now. Let's get in here. And close the door. Okay. Where is she? Where did she go? <laughs> oh, oh, no. I'll never tell you. You're just making things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. Okay. Oh, Prox. Wow. Hey, man, how's it going? I haven't seen you in a very long time. All right, what's this? A chipper. So we've got the hammer and the chipper now. I really want to go check out this side, but I know that guy's around here somewhere. 
Well, he's not in the immediate... Oh, can't go through there. Oh, just another memory. But mother, I don't want to leave without you. Hurry, child. You must go. Find Gabriel, the outrider, and tell him to alert the king's men. No, you come too. Please, we don't have time to make the hole any wider. But... Someone is coming. Hurry. I'll cover the hole with the bed. Everything will be fine. I promise you. Any idea who the girl that escaped might be? No, I have no idea. <laughs> None at all. Uh, how's it going? Just been busy with school lately. It's been going pretty good. I'm getting more used to, like, streaming every day. Kind of got a regular schedule going on. Oh, and I, I just, I can't wait for Sekido to come out. Oh, that's out of oil. Should I just do double? Okay, double. And then... Let's check out over here. Have I been here? Oh, get it. Oh, this is locked. A rusted padlock that is in good shape. So the fact that it's rusted probably means that we can use this stuff, right? It's solid metal and in good shape. It's no use. No, so I guess we can't. What about the hollow needle? No, we can't do that. All right, let's run back. Oh, the girl from the storage room? Yeah, I remember her. But she died, right? So did she escape from here and then died there? Man, this place is just burning through my oil. Did you hear that? I think that thing is just right outside. <gasps> I, I'm just gonna have to sit here in the dark and, and go insane. Remember, you can combine items. Oh, well, come on. We didn't even combine them. It's just now hammer and chipper tools for stone cutting. Well, I'm glad you said something, because I would not have guessed that you could combine them. Because they're not even combined. They're just now in the same box. Well, thanks for that. Alright, now let's go back and try the door. But we gotta sneak past this guy. And get the lantern out now, maybe. Oh no, but we can't go this way. Let's hang out by the candle. And we'll let him just, like, move on. Or something. He moves really fast, doesn't he? Solid metal in good shape. Okay, so we can't use this here anyway. You could pick up items and throw them to distract the monsters. Oh. That's a good tactic to try. I'm very lost right now. Let's go this way. I'm not sure that I found everything to do over here. Like, what's in here? Nothing. Nothing. Very corroded and weak. Okay, so use this. Is there anything I can light over here? Oh, there's this strange liquid. Oh, we got some oil. Yes. So there was one more door that I found that also was closed like that. So let's see if we can get back there. that thing around the corner? No. Oh, I hear him now. Oh, there he is. There he is. Run. Let's 
move back here. It's tough in this area because there's no rooms that have torches inside of them, so I can't like hide in a room out of the dark. When I hide, it has to be in the dark. So what are your thoughts on the diary you found in the machine room? Which one? Haunted? Revelations? No. It's gotta be one of these. Haunted. So, the last ones that I thought I found was about basically all of the people that he knew being hunted down by this shadow thing. I mean, that's my only thought, is that the same shadow that is after us here in this castle was the one that was killing everybody. Alright, we're in good shape here. Can I light the thing? No, I can't. What's this? I think that leads just out. Out back the way that we came. And there's nothing here, right? Okay. And nothing over here. It's cool how, like, you can't see in the darkness. The whole Haunted Trilogy, yeah. That was my, the only thing that I thought. It was like, oh, that's the shadow thing. And it's somehow connected to the orbs. All right, what's down here? Is this just the beginning? It might be. Yeah, it is. There's definitely one more door that we can get into. We gotta find it. Is it over here? Yeah, this one. Let's try it. Can't use this item this way. I'm gonna hang out by this candle a sec. Oh, all right. What's up the stairs? I feel like maybe this is where we should be going. No, this is the door that we opened before. No. Interesting. I wonder how we're gonna get through that door over there. What am I missing here? What's in this room? See, I thought that there was another door that I couldn't get into before, but maybe I'm wrong. And that it really is just this door down here. And then how are we gonna do this? Oh, there's Tinder firmly locked. Let's try the drill bit. No. No. And no. Oh, there's a hole! Remember, remember one of the flashbacks in the cell. See, yeah, there's a hole over here. Right? Was it in this one? It was one of these cells where she was talking about, like, a hole or something. Ugh. Move the bed. Yes, move the bed. Oh, almost there, almost there. Yes, good call. Ha <laughs> ha. Very good call. I like how you did that too. You didn't just like tell me. You said, oh, hey, remember that clue you found? Awesome. The hole's too narrow to slip through. Well, that's fine. You know why? Because you've got this. Pretty cool. That's a good puzzle. Moving that orb is like pushing a star in the night sky. It wasn't supposed to happen. The shadow wasn't some vengeful spirit. It is the universe catching up with itself. Really. These orbs kind of remind me of, like, the knowledge apples from Assassin's Creed. We are going to get to use the hollow needle again. I figured it would come up. Oh, maybe I should be using my torch because, yeah, it's dark in here. 
How's the sanity doing? Crystal clear. All right, maybe we shouldn't use it then. Just save our oil. Maybe we could just like take it out every now and then to, su to subdue the darkness for a sec. Oh, here we go. Just push them all away. Come on. Uh oh, it's kind of stuck here. Uh, uh. Come on. There we go. Yes, we made it. Okay, what's over here? Oh, it's another really large area. They make me pretty nervous. Won't budge. What about you? The gate is locked, but the palka is in excellent condition, so we can't do that yet. What's this say? The kitchen's that way. And then this one says... Storage. Let's go to storage. Storage is this way, but what's over here? Oh, there's a room that looks lit. Let's go take a break on that side. Whoa. Is it just like a normal dead body? Alright, we got some oil. How are we doing on oil, by the way? Not bad. Let's run over here. burning houses. He should have known better. He should have known better, indeed. You try your best not to backseat so much, sometimes you get carried away, though. I know how you feel, because when I'm watching somebody else play a game that I know really well, it's so hard not to, like, help out when they're stuck. And I, for one, like that kind of assistance. Like, if I'm stuck, to keep the, th the game moving along, I really appreciate, like, a little hint, you know? Not just flat out telling me, but helping me come to the realization myself. It's still enjoyable. I still feel like I've done something, you know? Let's see. Oh, another note. 2nd of August, okay, diary. 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening, and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Well, I wouldn't say that. Don't blame yourself. Now, it's interesting that we keep finding these diary pages everywhere. It's almost like Daniel knew that something was going to happen somehow, and just in case, or he knew that something might happen, and he left these almost like breadcrumbs. Oh, damn it. Yeah, as I was saying, like breadcrumbs to, you know, this version of Daniel after we have Amnesia to try to figure things out again. Oh, damn, he's coming through that door. This is bad. What can I do? What can I do here? Is there a brick that I can grab? Oh, it's a rat. Oh, he just knocked down the door and left. Huh. The music is still going. I don't see him. Have I been in here? 
That's where it just came from, right? Yeah. Let's take the brick with us. <laughs> Maybe we can throw it at him. Oh, there's some light over here. This is good. I heard that. Okay, there he is. Is he safe? Well, it's for it. His own good. Hmm. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good, he said. Hey, you! Stop! No, I've never seen Black Clover. I just want to leave. You can't go outside. It's too dangerous. I'm telling you. I doubt that very much. Soon we'll be ready. Let there be enough time. He escaped? Where is he now? Um... Gabriel? So we reached the other side of this gate, huh? Oh. Oh, damn it. I'm screwed big time. I'm so screwed. Let's just hope that he doesn't find me. <laughs> the grunts aren't very smart. Nah. How do you lean left and right? It's not like the same. Oh, it's the same as Dishonored. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, it can't be the same. Look at that. Exact same controls. Oh, well, look at this door, too. Oh, right, that's his budge. Alright, he's leaving. So we're fine there. Alright. I want to go the way he's going. So maybe we just, like, follow up behind him? Very carefully, of course. There's a brick. Now let's go this way. Although, we might run into him again. So I should be careful. Like, around the corner, maybe. Alright, I haven't been to the kitchen yet, have I? I saw that. What? What, 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 what? There's so much going on right now. Is something coming? Is there something in here? There is something in there. Maybe it'll bust down this... Oh, yes, it will! If it busts down that door, then I can get in. That's actually a way that we can open up some areas. That's interesting. My sanity is not good. I need to solve something quick or I'm screwed here. Oh, I'm out of oil. Damn, things are just falling apart left and right while I'm here in the menu. It's actually a really good anime. It takes a lot of its storyline from Naruto. It has two rivals training for the same goal. It's about a boy born in a world where magic is everything, but he was born with no magic at all. Oh, okay, so kind of like My Hero Academia, the start of that one, too. It's kind of the same idea of, like, the underdog. Oh, where, like, everyone is... That was revolutionary, I think, for My Hero Academia, where it's like, oh, most people are special. And the main character is normal to start with. But that's kind of the same deal. The, the protagonist is the underdog because he's one of the few people that, that doesn't have magic. There aren't many other options for leading that would make sense other than Q and E. Yeah. Well, I'm really nervous to get out of this menu and have to keep going, but let's go. We have to do something at some point. Where are we? Ooh, we got a glass jar. Got some stuff here. What's this? Just some objects. I I can barely see what's in here. Alright, oil. I don't know if we're gonna make it, guys. <laughs> Daniel's just going insane here. And I'm lost. This place is a maze. I have no idea where I'm going. 
Like, we can't... Okay, that, that's not important, that door. Yeah, that one doesn't matter. We have to get through... Something else. Let me hang out here a bit. Is there enough light that I'm not going more insane? Actually, I don't think so. More oil. It's getting challenging to explore as my sanity slips, too, because... Oh, what's this? Where am I going? Where was that area that we could go to the kitchen? Is it down here? Down here, right? Oh man. So I've been here before. Here's, okay, here we go. Kitchen, let's do it. Okay, this opened. Oh, this area seems like progress. Thank goodness. I really hope it's progress. This area is a bit like the last chapter of Witcher 1. Oh. Suddenly resources become a big thing. Got some rocks. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well-versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Ah. Still calling uh, Count Dracula on this guy. Ouch! Damn, what did I do that for? All right, let's use the jar. So now we can open up that lock by throwing some acid at it. I don't know why I just touched that material that was very clearly acid. But, you know. What? Did you hear that? And how's my sanity? Oh, my sanity went back up now. <gasps> How did that thing not see me? I am so lucky. We were in a really bad spot. I would have had to just, like, run past him or something. Oh, he's still here. Damn. Right when I say that, too. Okay. Actually, it'd be cool to get a good look at him. Like, what's he look like? Ooh, bad decision. I want to see him, though, you know? I'm curious. Is he like... Is he just like a human with ropes around it? What's his mouth look like? Let's follow. Am I just... My sanity's getting worse just from being around that guy. Oh, I can touch the fire. Why would I want to do that? Do I touch the fire? Maybe not. Let's not touch the fire. So we had to go and get the glass jar before coming here and finding the acid. However, if I went to the kitchen first, I would have known about the acid. But that's interesting. You kind of have to run all, all through this place. How much oil do we have? A lot. Okay, so now, 
let's head back. Oh, wait a second. Have I not gone over here? I don't remember this. It won't budge. And then that's a gate that maybe we shouldn't be going through. Let's take a break right here. Praise the sun. All right, ready. I don't remember where the gate is that we're supposed to go into, but I'm hoping we just kind of run into it. As I run all over the place, I think this might be it right here. It's in very poor condition, so let's throw the acid at it. And then we'll break it open. Something's coming. Close the door. Take out the torch. And here we go. The entrance to the cistern. That's it. We did it. Okay, so that gate we have been to the other side of. Awesome. Thanks, Grimir. 